Okay, hopefully now it should be working. Anyway, hello ladies and gents, 23 volt here for a card opening pack thingamajig because why the hell not, right? Um, so we're going to be opening a bunch of packs and uh, I think from what I knew... So we have legendary packs open, we've got the pre-release which I am going to get 50 uh, packs out of just to see how well we do. And of course we also have all of the other rotational packs that I still have yet to actually use. So we've got a plethora of cards to go through. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way upward. So we're going to start with, I know I know this is meant to be all about um, Fortune's Hand. But for the sake of this video, we're actually going to do a massive... Uh, I've, been, I've been saving up for this moment, like just to... Just to try out and see uh, what my luck is for this upcoming rotation. So, 15 tickets. Here we go. And we're not going to be using tickets for these ones. I might use gold. I oh, know. I'm, I'm going to be saving up my gold for everything else. So, we're going to see um, all the car packs I'd get. I don't know how many this is in total. I think I already have three of of the Honored Front Guard General, which is upsetting. Nothing there. So obviously we're only going to be taking into consideration all the golds and legendaries, because those are the most cost-effective. I've pretty much got, knowing me, I've pretty much got every other bronze and silver card in every other pack. And that just comes down to good old-fashioned grind. The only time I ever wail is if there's like a unique event, where you can get like an animated uh, sleeve, which, um, that's the only reason why. I ever do the pre-release. Oh, that was my first ever Levi. That's awesome. I've uh, like from before, by the way. Artifact duplicator, which is I already think I already have enough of those. Well, as long as I get more silvers than bronze, and I feel like I'm getting more more value, just so I can um, redeem it for vials. Dragon Horde, I don't really see that being played too often. I only, I only saw that in um, Take 2, or well, not the Take 2, like the Take 2 All-Star version. So not a, not a good pack of 10 there. I think I only got about 4 golds. I mean, I got Levi, which in, in hindsight, it's actually a pretty good thing because Earthrite is um, becoming back in a strong way. So I'd love to try to build an Earthrite deck or... Yeah, see, there we go. Not Levi. Okay, I'm, I'm liking this now. Uh, Levi is currently the as much of a legendary card as possible for me in, in at the moment, just because, again, I didn't have any of them. And if I will be releasing this video pretty much straight away, no editing and whatnot. Oh, Golden Squad, sick. So the spell boost one where you can get, like, the ultimate clay golem. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to be releasing this video straight away. And that's mainly just due to the fact that I can't be bothered editing it. <laughs> um, as well as... Okay, cool. Golden Squad. Well, that's awesome. um, as well as I've got the... Uh, my personal view on the upcoming new cards. So pretty much what I'm doing is that for every class, I give special honours to the cards for rotation that are leaving rotation. And I'm going to see how every deck is going to have to rebuild or if there's going to be new archetypes going to, that will be introduced. So uh, look forward to that. I've, I've recorded every single one. I'm just editing, editing them down because I tend to stutter a lot and pause a lot during like actual recordings. So just to keep the conversation in flow, I just edit it down a bit. Like, for example... One of the videos, I think, was, um, what was it? I think it was RuneCraft was one of the, like, the longer videos. So that was, like, a 20... Ooh, oh, <gasps> no! This is the le... Ah, oh, fuck! Uh, <laughs> it's a leader... It's a leader, Liza. Damn it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, no. That's not good. And the reason that's not good was because um, I, I, did, I did wail a little bit. I spent on the get a guaranteed 
Lita um, banner when that was out. And Liza was my guaranteed leader. I also got like seven legendaries in that 10 card, in that 80 card opening pack. So like every, nearly every single, actually, let me say this for the first seven uh, packs of that, um, of that banner, I got one, at least one legendary. I actually put that on Twitter, which is, that blew my mind. I was like, are the, are the RNG in your favor in this one? But nah. It's, it's not. Man, that makes me upset that I had to get another Liza. I mean, I don't really play a lot of Forest. Liza's a good. Li Liza's a great leader. But damn it, <laughs> I feel I feel feel deflated. No. Yay! Another Subaki. Love Subaki. Love Soulcraft legendaries in general. So give them more to me. Give them all to me. Also, I'm also trying to <laughs> go through this as fast as I can because I, I, I'm recording on my phone. I don't know what the quality of this is. I just saw this like screen recorder on my phone. I was like, oh, may as well use it, eh? Use it and show me um, opening the packs on my phone because I, from what I know, since I put my, um, my crystals on my phone, that means I can't use my... Uh, computer so I have linked my data between both so that's why you'll see me play um, on the computer and it's the exact same account like I don't have two accounts if you have two accounts of this you're crazy maybe you like the climb to Grandmaster and collecting all the cards again Shizuru fucking amazing four cost card in the game I don't know if it's gonna stack well um, in the upcoming meta Dark Prison Dragon great I mean, Shizuru is always going to be good for Evo Sword, so... Yeah, give me more Shizurus. I need, I need Shizurus to liquefy. Yes! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I was kidding with all the Shizurus. Can we, can, we, can we stop with that, please? Okay, well, at least give me one gold. Or a legendary. Nah, of course not. And nothing. Shit. Shit. All right. Well, I at least got like five Shizuru's out of that. So, cool, cool. Oh man, I'm so close to getting a free legendary as well. Because <laughs> I believe if you. If you uh, summon at least uh, 400 packs, you get a legendary of your choice. Which, I do like that. Um, it does sound like a very whale thing to do. Like, oh my god, you have to spend so many packs to get a free guaranteed legendary of any kind. But I, I really haven't... I personally haven't whaled too much. Like, the only real thing... I've spent money on, sweet, courtly, uh, courtly dance is an amazing for Evo. The only real thing I've ever done with this game is spend it on leaders. Like, I've got nearly every single event leader uh, ever to be released on this game. Well, whenever I started playing, sorry. Like, not every leader, but I do have a lot of them. Um, but that's the thing. Oh shit, I think I'm opening in the wrong pack. I should be opening in the new card section. Well, we'll do the first 10 here, and because it's 28, we'll do the later, the later 18 and the other one. You can't, oh, okay, uh -uh. no, 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 no. Yeah, never mind, never mind, never mind, I didn't say anything. What did you do again? I haven't seen you. Select an allied amulet and put a copy of it into your hand, if it's a tree, put, oh, okay. That was the support for Natura. Oh, Natura slash Storm Haven. Stroke of Conviction ended up being a really good card. I don't know. For, for me, I thought it was just going to be average, but it turned out to be pretty good. Another Stroke of Conviction. Great. I mean, yes, I'm a Swordcraft main, but I think I've got all the... I think I've got all the 
gold, bronze, and silvers. Only a couple of legendaries I had to craft myself because never got them. Specifically, I think it was Amelia and the Lux Blade. I think I, I weren't able to, wasn't able to three three of them in my collection. Sorcery in Solon. Oh, it's upsetting that most of the macro stuff is gone. <laughs> ah. Okay. New, newly added additional cards will appear at a higher rate. Yeah, we'll try this one instead. I do like that they have that option. Like, if you're really trying to go for some of the new stuff, you can... You can go for it here. And would you look at that? <laughs> I already got a lot of new stuff. Hey, hey, Garuda, Wings of Paradise. What does this thing do again? Randomly pull one of the highest cost amulets and followers that cost exploit points or less from your deck into play. Activate their fanfare effects. X equals the number of allied amulets. Destroy this match. Okay. Sweet. So you can actually build around him. I don't actually ever see Amulet Haven being used though. At the moment, Haven's only got really two archetypes, and that is, hey, uh, it's it's Naturas and Natura slash Storm, and then there's Eleanor decks. Most of them are Eleanor decks, but maybe with the new expansion, it might be different. He who wants rocked, awesome card to have. I wish it did a bit more though. I mean, it does a lot. Early game, it's a great amount of board flood. It also works with. Ra it also rallies if you if Shadowcraft gets a rally, but I don't think they're getting a rally. They're getting a lot of crystallize um, this season, which crystallize is actually really good because it actually adds to their shadow, giving them a last word effect as well as something dying. So I feel like Hades might actually like the fact that there's a lot of a lot of extra Chris, uh, amulets for them to destroy. And a Gremory. Speaking of, speaking of awesome Hades synergies, I got Gremo. Nice. First time for both. Anyway, we're nearly there. We're nearly at the big cajone, that being the Fortune's Hand. Now, when I when I when I did um, my fifty packs for Uprooted, I will say I got really lucky um, with a lot of it, and I think I got. I think my highlight was that I got two... Oh, I can't remember what her name was. It's the legendary neutral follower, the 3-2-3 three, the three, three ward, that depending on how many play points you have, when you play her, she buffs herself and an ally. I cannot remember the name, but I got her twice, as well as a bunch of Haven legendaries. So it was like, okay, I guess I'm going to be mating... I guess I'm going to be mating Haven um, this pack, and I did, um, I kind of did, like, a pseudo Machina Eleanor, it wasn't really an optimal deck, like, some of the deck, uh, the net decks that you can get for that craft, but, yeah, I, I, I built a deck out, and I was really, I was really making some, a lot of success, it was the only, like, the, sh the, of all the things that I believed was kind of like troll, it actually ended up being one of the best decks out there. I was like, oh, sick. Um, but anyway. So, we are going to do... Hang on a minute. Oh, shit. How many, how many packs do I need to do this? Oh, hang on. I need... Do I need 5,000? Oh god, how much is that worth? I do need 5,000. Ah, fuck. Ah, damn it. Of course it wouldn't be a 1,000 crystals, AJ, you freaking whale. Ah, but you want the 50 card pack thing. Alright, well. One second. I'm going to pause the video here and I'm <laughs> going to just get some more crystals. Don't judge me. I have an addiction. I can't help it. Anyway, so, uh, thankfully the crystals actually ended up, you know, rounding up on a nice whole number. I don't have to worry about spending money on this damn game again until the next expansion comes out. So, 
Okay, bonuses, we're going for this thing. This is what I want. And it's what, the only thing I can I care about. I don't give a... Who heals hoot about anything else here? This, this in my opinion, is absolutely worth it. What is this? Are these just packs that I can use for later? I think it is. Anyway, let's do it. So for 50 packs for uh, Fortune's Hand, hopefully this money is well spent. I'm going to be so upset if this doesn't really pan out well for me. Oh, and yeah, the, I guess the whole point of this pack is they're tarot cards. Let's see. The cards. Get out of here. Madcap Conjurer. So that... I don't really use... I don't... Well, I, I've already reviewed all the cards, so I know what every card does. There are some cards which I think are good. Uh, that card I see is kind of a weird meme. You can build around it because there are a lot of good even cost cards in uh, Dragon, but I don't know. That, that one's also a weird one. It's a fucking amazing body, though, so... Again, who knows? You could probably build around it. Just hope to God that... Um... Your opponent isn't playing the forest, uh, the forest craft that actually takes cards from your deck. Because he plays that, he gets rid of well, maybe a lot of your cards. I don't know. Um, what do we got here? Uh, oh, I actually no, 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 no. I don't give a, I don't I don't give a who's hoot about any of these bronze and silvers and none of that junk. We only want the big ones where you get the whole shabamalow animation. But unfortunately, I'm not actually getting shit. Dragon it calls this the gold draw card, which, again, neat, but no, no, uh, what do you call it? Oh, there's, there's Wardhaven. That's a Wardhaven card. Oh, there we go. Now we're starting to see some stuff. Uh, is that another Haven card? No, oh, that's a rune card for Dirt Rune. Wish I could actually use a Dirt Rune deck, but I don't have any of the previous Dirt Legendaries. Or Earthrite Legendaries, so... Probably not going to be as optimal of a deck without them, in my opinion. Especially since one of them is the one that you could just go straight face. Alright, so that first 10 was kind of a bust. Let's go for another 10. Probably the worst start I've ever had to a card opening. Maybe I, I lost all my luck in the previous one when I got the leader. Getting Liza screwed me. Another Haven Gold. Okay, so I know I, I mained Haven-ish last time. Oh, yes, Dirt! I always wanted to make a Dirt deck. Um, but again, I just never had the cards for it. So maybe I might craft some of them just so that I can do it. What the frick did you do again? Recover X play points. X equals the number of other players in play. And it's one of those float. Oh yeah, so Portal's getting a lot of float support. I haven't edited the Portal Craft video yet, so I probably need to rethink that. Oh good, we're getting some sword golds now. This is looking better. And of course, as soon as I start praising, like the packs, like they give me shit. So another one. Okay, cool. So that means what? What? That means I can start. Maybe I can start making a rally deck. Oh, there's another one of those things. I don't really think you need three of that. Like, I only run one of them. Since the others are going to get removed anyway. Uh, Contemptus. Contemptus Demon. Contemptus Demon. Demon. And another. Is that the rune? Yeah, the dirt rune again. With this thing. With. Is this the puppet one with the two damage random info? Yeah, that's the cannon. The one turn cannon puppet. Which does sound scary, but I personally don't think it's... I, I personally don't think it's that good. That's just my opinion, but I, I don't know. I could be high. Maybe, maybe in following packs they might actually try to reintroduce puppet portal. Which that would be neat. Puppet Portal was one of those cool things where it's like, well, if you're not going to play Artifact, what other archetype is there in the Puppets book? It might be just kind of cool. And they were murder. They were very strong and meta at the time. They actually got nerfed. Hey, uh, this is my first tarot card, and it is for Havencraft. 
<laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> I keep getting all the fucking Havencraft shits. And, um, I mean, I already play Wardhaven, so all these additions to Wardhaven is going to be a big bonus for me. So, I look forward to that. I do wish I got some of the, you know, legendary sword stuff. Let me do my sword craft shenanigans, please. What the hell are you? Oh, you're, you were, you were, you were kind of a ridiculously cool neutral. Yeah, this is the coolest neutral in the whole pack. Put a, put your hand, copy of the three most left cards in your hand. Only because of that, like, the text we've never seen before. Three left most cards in your hand in the order they were played. So you, essentially what it's saying is if, when you play it, you put th a copies of three of the cards that you've held the longest. Since any card that you add to your hand is put on the right. Anything you you create from a, a, a fanfare effect, every time you draw a card, every time you play a spell that puts cards in your hand, they always go to the right side of your hand. Because, again, it indicates that they were played, or they were put into your hand the latest. So the longer you haven't played a card, the more likely they, uh, they're going to be put into that effect. Which I think is pretty neat. It's like it's just kind of a niche effect. It's not. I don't think it actually you can play around that like gameplay wise. But uh, that's pretty good. Holy crap! I got two of those selfless nobles. Those fat, fat, fat nine costs. And once again, boom, whiff again. I mean, I got one. <laughs> this is the saddest fucking card opening I've ever done. So hopefully these legendary packs are going to make up for it, right? I've got three of them that I still haven't used, so maybe, maybe we can get something good out of it. Terraformer, the forest craft storm thing. I feel like it's like a legendary roach kind of in a way, but it's more so focused on fusion. I think, I think that card can work pretty well with the roach in my opinion. I don't know. Could be me. Mm-hmm. Cool. Ah, very quiet, eh? Just hear cricket cricket sounds in the background. That is the Shadowcraft follower, right? Yeah, the one that transforms into Skeleton. The defensive gold card. Beefy dude and really cool crystallize effect. Again, it's another one of those ones where you just crystallize something and you know, you've got an amulet on the board, which a lot of the Shadowcraft cards in this pack have that effect, where they they do stuff when stuff. I'm gonna message. Hopefully, it doesn't pop up on the screen. Thank you for not popping up on the screen notification. Also, where the hell are all the like good stuff? I'm not getting shit. Thank you, Chipper Skipper. That's the Forest Craft card. Oh, it's animated too. Hey. Um. Yeah, Forest Craft card that, again, goes with the Accelerate effect, so... Accelerate is going to be one of those ones where it's... You're going to get you're going to be playing Accelerate and as well as playing those cards that you can play a lot of in one turn. Because, you know, that's its whole spiel. Anyway, we're in the last 10 packs, and this is, this is really bad. <laughs> this is really, really bad. I think the best class at the moment I've got is Haven. In terms of being able to make a deck around something. Ugh. I am not a fan of this. I will be playing some games live on stream. In terms, uh, in terms of the release. The pre-release of this. But I am just getting shafted. What the absolute hell. Wow, this this was not worth my money. I'll tell you that right right now. This is bad. Granted, I'd probably have like infinite amounts of vials just to liquefy and create them when the actual pack comes out. But yeah, oh my god, I've I've got nothing. Another the uh okay yeah we're going Ward Haven. This game, boys. Is that, is that the Haven Carp as well? No, that's the Necromancy one. Yeah, the Burial Rite. Alright, last pack. <sighs> pray to the Gods. And that's what happens when you pray to the Gods. You get nothing. 
Damn it. F everything. Bullshit. That is so bad. This was not worth it. <laughs> oh, man. That's just money just went down the drain for me on that one. So, all right. We're going to do three packs of these legendary ones. So, here we go. Don't know which legendary to expect. But hopefully, all is good. All right. Come on. Ooh, two legendaries. We've got Saren and Ceres. Two cards that are getting... Or one of the cards being rotated out. Let's go. <laughs> maybe I should have waited. Oh, no. Maybe they're just legendaries of anything, to be honest. Oh, yay! An Amelia! Oh, thank God. And that's not sarcasm. I actually needed a third Amelia. So now I can uh, go with the Sawcraft again. What the hell? I don't ever remember seeing you. So actually, this is, again, another Havencraft card. But this is Amulet Haven. Um, to an enemy follower. Recover. Play points. Number of valid. And this destroyed this match. Okay, yeah. So. Cool. Summon a Mechalorca. Storm Ward. Yeah, okay. Well, alright. I feel like I did better <laughs> with, with that. I mean, granted, I was going to get some of them anyway. I didn't even have those. Hey, sweet. So, um... Let's actually have a look at the cards, and let's have a look at the saddest 50 cards in existence. So we're going to... Oops, not Haven. Haven uh, is probably, again, the best thing I got out of that. We're going to go Gold, Legendaries, for Fortune. Okay. So, I did get three ofs of this, so we're definitely going Ward Haven, which is nice. Yeah, not a whole lot of legendary. If I was to get rid of all the gold stuff... Boom. I only got three legendaries out of 50 packs. That's kind of sad. That was really sad. I think, again, I posted... My... Slithera... My plethora, sorry, of, like, legendary and gold pack... Uh, gold cards that I got... In the 50 card pack from before. But if this is what I get... Oof. I don't know about it. I don't know. Again, at least I didn't get an overflow of gold cards. Like, I didn't get anything more than a three of, and again, it's the Ward one, so. We're definitely going to play around with Ward Haven. And thankfully, I do have, like, the cards to make a decent Ward Haven deck. But yeah, this is 23 Volt. I'm going to edit the deck around, and I'm, I'll, I'll post this up imme immediately. And in, I'll be streaming live to show me playing the pre-release with Warhaven because that's the only decent deck that I got right now. Yay! Alright, see ya.